here one more uh, different type of uh, example given here so in this example uh, again uh, time member of a roof truss consists of two isa 100 by 75 by 8 mm angle angles are connected to either side of a 10 mm gusset plate and the member is subjected to a working pull of 300 kN design the welded connection so here uh, they clearly mentioned two isa means double angle unequal they are connected to the gusset plate so they are like this this is the gusset plate connected like this so previous problem we have solved single angle so here double angle uh, connected to the gusset plate next here the figure is been given uh, here they have mentioned double angle this is the double angle section and this is the longitudinal section gusset plate thickness is mentioned here 10 mm thickness and the angles are uh, 2 isa 100 by 75 by 8 mm unequal angle section and uh, 100 mm leg is connected to the gusset plate so they are not mentioned which leg to be connecting to the gusset plate so you may take uh, any side and connect to the gusset plate so here 100 mm leg is connected to the gusset plate and other size that is 75 mm is outstanding leg so this leg is called as a connected leg and this leg is a outstanding leg or unconnected leg and here uh, they given uh, working load working load here they given working load that is 300 kN so working load with then for design of this weld we need to make it factored load this is we have to multiply it by 1.5 again the procedure is remain same as the previous uh, case uh, where to get the properties of the section from the steel table Uh, in steel table, you have to refer the double angle sections. For the double angle section, you have to take the area of the section, then the centroid of the section, that is C X X and E X X. You have to take from the steel table. Then it is to be marked in this figure, and then you have to solve the problem. So everything is remains same except that here first we calculate for the one angle what is the length of the weld required then the second angle the same length of weld to be applied if we are calculating for one angle the load to be divided by 2 so this is the load which is carrying by both the angles then if we want to calculate what is the length of weld required for one angle then one angle carries half of this load hence we have to calculate first for one angle then the same length of weld to be applied for the other side okay so here the given uh, sorry the uh, calculated the size of the weld again the procedure remains same you have to take the minimum size of the weld referring table 21 page number 78 and 79 is 800 2007 then maximum size is depending upon the uh, edge conditions either square edge or the Uh, uh, round edge and from the square edge uh, if it is a square edge you have to deduct 1.5 mm uh, from the thickness of the plate and if it is a square uh, round edge you have to take 3/4 of the 3/4 of the thickness of the plate as for the weld thickness then in between a minimum and a maximum So it is a minimum and a maximum you have to select the thick uh, size of the weld so here the size of the weld is uh, been taken 6 mm size because it is between a minimum and maximum 
and 6 mm size of the weld is been taken taken here then you have to calculate the thickness of weld that is here thickness of the weld they are taken then from the steel table as I, I mentioned you have to take the properties of the section from the steel table and here each angle carries a factored load here working load is given 300 you have to make it a factor multiply it by 1.5 here the multiplied and divided by 2 so each angle carry this is each angle carrying the load so then the design strength of it again the same formula as I mentioned earlier then you will be getting in terms of uh, length then then equating this strength of the weld to the uh, load this strength of the weld to the load this strength of the weld to equate it to the design strength of weld for one angle okay so if we equate it you will be getting the length of the weld total length of the weld and whatever the length we have obtained here this is for one side angle not for both side because we have taken half of the load for the design purpose so whatever the length of weld here we have obtained it is for one side of the angle and the same length of weld to be applied for the other side next then to find length of the weld that is l1 and l2 again uh, it's the same procedure as i mentioned in a previous uh, uh, problem you have to take the moment then L1 into 3 L1 into 31 then L2 into 100 minus 3 means about the centroidal axis if this angle section about this centroidal axis you have to take the moment and get L1 and L2 so here the L1 and L2 obtained as L1 is 196 and L2 is 88 this is for one side again I am uh, 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 stressing uh, here whatever the length of the weld we have obtained here this is for one side angle and the same length to be applied for the other side so this is uh, 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 for the double angle connected to the cassette plate remember uh, if the double angle is given you have to calculate for one angle what is the length of the weld required the same to be applied for the other side this is the one angle and whatever the length you applied L1 and L2 the same to be applied for the other side so for this whatever the load is being given if it is given a working load make it a factor and uh, divide it by 2 whatever the load you get that load is to be uh, equating to the uh, design strength of weld then when you equate it you will be getting length of the weld whatever the length of weld you get it will be for one side and the same for the other side so this is how uh, the double angle section to be solved so same type of problem you please practice refer any textbook or any uh, question papers uh, video question paper you refer it and uh, please practices in case any doubt, you can contact me. Thank you.